2 video on how to capture chemilescent western blot using the chemi single image mode in Genesis image capture software you'll be shown how to 1. Position your sample 2. Acquire an image 3. How to save or export images 4. Export to analysis software The chemi single image mode is ideal for laboratory users who are new to chemi and unsure of what settings to use. You can open Genesis software from the icon on the desktop the home page. From the home page select blots then chemi blot single image. To ensure maximum resolution use a sample size pop-up to select your sample size to ensure your sample size fills the screen. For this example we will select 7 times 8.4 centimeters. Don't worry if you select the wrong size you can always adjust the zoom later. The screen on top of the UV transluminator and place your sample on top in a central position. The system should prompt you to place the black screen into the dark room if this is the first time or if the dark room has been used for another application. With chemiluminescent samples to make it easier to focus your image you can either leave the dark room door open or turn the white light on. Adjust the focus and the zoom using the lens controls. Focus the image until the edges of the membrane are nice and sharp. A preview image will appear. Use the slider bar to capture at faster speed or more towards higher definition images. If you select faster speed, this will involve more binning. Binning combines adjacent pixels to form super pixels, but will result in a reduction of resolution. If higher definition is selected, the capture times will be longer, but the resultant image will be publication quality. A good compromise between speed and quality of the image is to place the slider bar in the middle. The auto expose area feature allows you to select an area where your weaker bands are present and then the software calculates the exposure time according to the amount of light present. Select the auto expose area Use the mouse cursor to move and adjust the yellow rectangle around the area of fainter bands. Select to capture a visible marker or a colour marker if your system has this functionality with the correct filters installed. Then close the dark room door and press capture. Captured images will appear in the film strip. If you selected to capture a visible or colour marker, the top image is the multiplex of the chemi image and the marker image. Use the histogram or the contrast slider bar to make adjustments to the brightness and contrast, making it easier to see fainter bands. To save the image, select the save icon from the pop-up, use the drop-down menu to select from which image to save from to which image to save to. Check the boxes to save all images in selected range, or to include sub-images, and press OK. Select an image from the list to see a preview, and select the browse button to choose the save path. Save time when saving, check the box to remember the save path. Press save selected. A data report pop-up will now appear, which can be exported as doc text for reference only. This will save the image in the SGG format. 
The HD format is fully GRP compliant format that ensures image and data integrity, essential for that with 21 CFR compliance requirements. If you prefer to save your image as a TIFF or a JPEG, then use the Save As icon to export images as displayed or as captured. You can also select the DPI and the bit depth when working with a TIFF image. If you want to have an exo 8 markers and quantities, export your image to Gene Tools analysis software using this icon. 